ladies, welcome back to my channel, Happy Lady One and One. My name is Veronica. Today I would like to talk to you about relationships and things I would share with my younger self 20 years ago. The biggest thing with anybody, men or women, is their confidence and the way they carry themselves. The confidence is that charm that makes people be attracted to you. If they see that you're confident in yourself, in their eyes, you will be even more beautiful or more good looking. And honestly, if you portray yourself as a confident person, but then you say certain things about yourself, some of your imperfections or some things that you don't think are attractive about you. And if you tell this to your partner, partner, your boyfriend, or anybody else, people will believe you and they will see those imperfections as well. So rule number one would be do not tell anybody about your imperfections. Just keep those as a little secret for yourself because we are our worst enemy. We judge ourselves more than anybody else judges us. We see our, our own imperfections more than anybody else sees it in us. And the other thing is, in one person's eyes, your imperfections could be benefits. For one person, your imperfection could be an imperfection and something really bad. For the other person, your imperfections will never be noticed and vice versa, they will think that this is the best thing ever. Certain things you do or the way you look or anything else is not the same for person to person. Your imperfections are really only in your head. And even if your significant other or your partner tells you something about you, that is not so perfect or not so good, you can take it as something you can improve upon or work on. But I would definitely not tell anybody what your imperfections are because those imperfections are just something that is a mental thing in your head or maybe from your prior relationships, but nobody needs to know about it. Number two, the way to make your partner feel important is when you ask them for their help. Ask them to help you with some kind of task, help you around the house, help you cook, help you clean. If you don't ask, they will not know that you need help. But if you do ask, they will feel more empowered. They will feel needed. They will feel more loved. The biggest words in the English language and the most powerful words are, I need help. Even more powerful words with your partner will be, I need your help. Because most of the time, people cannot say no. If they love you, if they care about you, they will not say no. Number three, if you're with your loved one, whether it's your husband, your boyfriend, your future boyfriend, it's so important to show them attention. It's so important to show them affection. So you can give them little pieces of affection by holding their hand or giving them a little kiss, looking in their eyes, touching them, hugging them, even if it's just a little bit because that a little bit will go a long way. In the way you're kind of claiming your turf, claiming your territory in public or in private. It's important both ways. It's important to show it around other people, your friends and family, and their people, their friends and family, as well as it's as important to show it behind the closed doors. Show them that you care by giving them that affection and that love. If you ignore your partner, they will either ignore you back or look elsewhere. Number four, it is so important for a woman to have a hobby or a job. Some of you who have been married, maybe had kids and you left your job, your only job is to take care of your family or of your partner or your children, or maybe some elderly in your house, but then you don't do anything with yourself. Maybe in the past you had some hobby, you like to paint, you like to take some yoga classes or go to a dancing studio. Do not lose that hobby. Do not lose your job. It's so important to have a little bit of that your space, just like men like their man caves. Women should have some of their own as well. Your man will respect you more for that if you do have a job, if you have a hobby, and you will give them some space as well. Too much of you could be a lot even for yourself. Everybody needs some space in their life. Maybe you're the one who goes to the office, you go to work, go away from your family. Men also need space. They also want to get away, get away from your house, get away from you for a little bit, and there is nothing wrong with it. It's not offensive. It's not that they don't love you. They just need some breathing room. They want to miss you more, and you will miss them too. Number five, that's my favorite one. So this is where you're leaving the 10% mystery about you to yourself. 
No matter how many years you spend with your partner, with your husband, or with anybody else, it's always nice to remain a little mystery. All women have it in them. A little bit of that unsaid mystery. That mystery could be your prior relationships, or something that happened a long time ago you really don't want to talk about. Or maybe it's something exciting, some new hobby or some new ideas that you're not quite ready yet to share. You really don't have to share everything. And sometimes it's better not to share everything. So leave some of that mystery so everybody always wonders and everybody always finds you a little bit interesting. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please put thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!